Delayed and over budget efforts to build a new Rogers High School in Newport have continued to face challenges. That's what both city council and school committee members are expected to discuss in a joint special meeting tonight. 12 News reporter Kate Wilkinson joins us now live in studio and Kate, what do city leaders say is fueling this problem? Well, the city council and the school committee say construction costs have gone up since, you know, the roughly $95 million bond was passed in 2020. But the sticking point for some is that the school committee will not say how over budget they are. The foundation has been set for the new Rogers High School, but the budget is still in flux. We're down to the, like the last $22 million and we have to figure out how to spend that wisely to keep the project on schedule. The school committee leaders Louisa Boatwright and Rebecca Bolin tell 12 News the estimate for the project is already 10% over what it's supposed to be. But they don't want to give a concrete number until they have all the contract bids lined up. Hoping they come in less, <laughs> but we hope to have all of that figured out in September. The school committee leaders say the project was supposed to be done for fall of next year, but COVID has also brought along delays in construction, pushing the new opening date to spring of 2025. So, Lynn Segley is the Newport City Council vice chair and the liaison to the school committee. She's hoping that tonight will bring clarity. We want to just try to come to some sort of understanding of where we are at the moment and perhaps how much money we are, uh, the school is over budget. Pam Quinn has lived in Newport since 1985. She'd like to know what the new price tag is as well. Hopefully they're digging deeper into those numbers because there are lots of surprises, cans of worms that keep opening up. And I hope the school board will figure it out. Tonight's joint meeting starts at 630 and it will be at Pell Elementary School. Coming up at 6, I'll have why city leaders say they may have to go back to residents to ask for more money. Live in the studio, Kate Wilkinson, 12 News.